Hey Internet, it's Cover Forty back for more Kingdom Hearts 1. So, despite being extremely far in the game, we're back in the, like, one of the first worlds, Wonderland, to get the remaining chests that we missed. And I finally learned how to get the Tea Party Garden chests. I'm guessing there is a secret passageway somewhere in the Otis Woods that will take me here. Because I haven't explored all of it yet. Yeah, see? Right up there. Oh, that's right, I can't carry any more Thunder G. Shoot. Hmm. So that's the bizarre room. Let's see. Aha! Here we go. Oracle come. Noise. Yeah, that's it. Tea Party Garden. This'll take me up high. So we get an Arrow Gaji. Dalmatian puppies! Puppies, puppies, puppies. Mithril. And an arrow Gaji. Alright. Not the way I wanted to go. We just gotta leave the world now, because I think we've gotten everything we can get. There's the one chest with the Thunder G in it. I should probably take off two of the guns, sell them, and then get that one and the one in the Hundred Acre Wood I couldn't pick up. Because I've got a boatload of cash now. I could buy new weapons. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. See you guys at the weapon shop. Alright, so here we are at the weapon shop. We've got 4,500 G to spend. So we'll basically just buy the uh, weapons for Donald we don't have. So we have that one, we have that one, we have that one. Don't have the Warhammer, don't have the Silver Mallet, so we might as well buy those. Uh, let's get the Gigas Fist for Goofy, even though he won't use it, and the Golem Shield. Just so we can see how they are. So, Mage's Staff, Morning Star, Shooting Star... So that gives him one extra strength, but it lowers his MP. That's the one we have. That one actually reduces his MP and gives him more attack. And then the Silver Mallet gives him a lot more attack. Like, a lot. But again, still reduces his MP. And since Donald is the MP guy, you don't really want to do that. And then, let's see, Night Shield, the Mithril Shield. Smasher. The Gigas Fist. That's pretty powerful. Stout Shield, Golem Shield, Herc Shield, and the Defender. So, I just like having one of everything, which is why I bought those weapons, but it's up to you whether you want them or not. Anyways, that's enough stalling, we need to get back to Hollow Bastion. Thank goodness for the warp piece. And we're gonna land in the castle chapel. <laughs> Cause, believe it or not, we kinda left Hollow Bastion like right in the middle of a fight. We beat Maleficent's first form and now we have to go finish her off. I wanted to get Lady Luck first though. Some help? Riku! A what? Yes, a Keyblade. But unlike yours, 
This Keyblade holds the power to unlock people's hearts. Allow me to demonstrate. Behold! No! Now, open your heart. Surrender it to the darkness. Become darkness itself! This is it! This power! <laughs> darkness! The true darkness! Now we get to fight Dragon Maleficent, which many people consider to be the hardest boss in the game. Definitely not. For instance, there's a fight after this that's much harder. And there's nothing that Bambi can't help out. This is the main reason why I wanted the Lady of Luck Keyblade, because... Holy crow, it just makes... <laughs> makes Bambi that much better, because... The power of your magic is dependent on... How many MP bars you have. So we're literally just gonna sit here and spam Thunder, uh... Oh, and because Donald used the ability Cheer now, uh, we can remain in Bambi. Uh, we can, Bambi can stay around for a lot longer. Come on, Bambi. So Dragon Maleficent's got a lot of HP, yes, and she's very powerful, yes, but... I've already taken out the, one of her HP bars, just with BAM. Okay, I forgot how much stuff she throws at you. That's annoying. So long, Bambi. Tinkerbell! I always appreciate your help. <laughs> so if I had Olympia equipped, Bambi would not have done, dealt nearly as much damage to Dragon Maleficent. Oh man, both Donald and Goofy are... Oh, thanks, Goof. Let me repay the favor. Holy crow. I do not remember Maleficent shooting this much fire. Our team's working very well. I like keeping my team alive. Oh, I forgot Tinkerbell is still a very active party member. Keep in mind, again, this is expert mode. Normal mode, she's not this bad. But even then, like, Cerberus is harder than she is just because you don't have nearly as much power. Remember, we didn't even have cure for Cerberus. And yeah! Sora got more AP. Just what I needed.
Also, that cutscene's really annoying to watch over and over again. Oh, Maleficent. Alas. How ironic. She was just another puppet after all. What? The Heartless were using Maleficent from the beginning. She failed to notice the darkness in her heart eating away at her. A fitting end for such a fool. Riku, isn't the exact same thing happening to you? Ooh, and we get Fire Glow! That's another summon stone, if we give that to the Fairy Godmother. We will get the final summon of the game. Two more... Alright. Ooh! I will unequip that treasure magnet and equip Ars Arcanum. A formidable attack! After a combo, select a follow-up attack again for a double combo. Short-range attack costs 3 MP. It's powerful. Look at how much HP Goofy has! Like, good grief, that is insane! It's, like, off the screen, almost. And that wall magically disappears now. Alright. I'm trying to figure out what Keyblade I want for this battle. Because while Lady Luck will definitely help me in the MP department... Actually, nah, Lady Luck's good. Olympia only gives me plus one strength, and having the two extra MP, I think, is more important. Well, now that we've used a ton of MP, might as well go back and refill it. I guess magic's pretty good in this. I gave it a bad rap. <laughs> Especially since I've used it so much in this playthrough. Ooh, look where we are! And wow, that's not good. We got Snow White, Alice, Belle, uh, Aurora, Cinderella, and Jasmine. And then Kyrie up here. In my opinion, this is easily one of the toughest battles of the game. Much harder than the Dragon Maleficent. For a variety of reasons. Kyrie! 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 Open your eyes! It's no use. That girl has lost her heart. She cannot wake up. That's a weird pose, Riku. What? You... you're not Riku? The keyhole cannot be completed, so long as the last Princess of Heart still sleeps. The princess? Kyrie's a princess? Yes. And without her power, the keyhole will remain incomplete. It is time she awakened. Whoever you are, let Riku go! Give him back his heart! But first, you must give the princess back her heart. <laughs> that was a weirdly uh, worded line. What? Don't you see yet? The princess's heart is responding. It has been there all along. Kyrie's heart rests within you. Kyrie. Kyrie's inside me? Kyrie's heart is inside your heart. I know all that there is to know. Sure you Tell do. Tell me, who are you? It, it is, is I, Ansem, the Seeker of Darkness. Plot twist. Ansem's the bad guy. <laughs> so... 
shall release you now, princess. Complete the keyhole with your power. Open the door. Lead me into everlasting darkness! Sora has like the girliest keyblade ever in this fight with Riku who has like the most awesome looking keyblade. Yep, we have to fight uh, Riku that's been possessed by Ansem in this fight. And he's hard because uh, Donald and Goofy aren't in this fight and he's insanely fast and aggressive, very powerful, got a lot of special moves, and oh yeah, he parries like all of your attacks. That was nice, Riku. Cool music, though. But this fight is very annoying. I remember him parrying my attacks more. At least you can get a lot of EXP in this fight just by blocking his attacks. Oh yeah! Ars Arcanium is a really powerful move. Oh boy! Oh, this is the attack. Well, that's one of the attacks that you do not want him to use. This is why I stock myself with keepers and equipped Lady Luck. Oh boy, this move. Just keep rolling, just keep rolling. Imagine trying to do this battle without a uh, second chance. Doesn't help that you have to fight him in a very small arena. Oh yeah, Dark Aura. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot! I knew I was going to die against him at least once. How come I can't counterattack him? Come, now is the time to worship. This is what I mean by like he parries all of your attacks. <laughs> Oh, 
not this tack. Once you get down that first HP bar. Thanks for telling me it was coming. Not on your life. Ouch. Perhaps I should just forget about Arrow and just focus on Cure. Oh boy. Dark Aura. <laughs> because I've got MP Rage, every time he damages me, my MP goes up, so it might actually be worth it to just not use Arrow and only use Cure. Not this again. Ars Arcanum is totally worth it, kids. It's such a slow glide. Okay, stop spamming this. That was close, Riku. Almost had me. Yeah! <sighs> that is a hard and intense fight. But I did it! <laughs> and we learned Ragnarok, another ability. Sweet. Man, ours Arcanium. That is powerful. I should have used that before this playthrough. Riku! Swearing! Swearing what? Oh, the keyhole! It's like, gee, I wonder where the keyhole is. It won't work! The keyhole's not finished yet! What can we do? Maybe we gotta go wake Kyrie up! I think you're right. If we can free your heart... But... But now... A keyblade you... that unlocks people's hearts. I wonder... This is where the game takes a bit of a dark turn. Sora, use that keyblade. It is so good. Ouch. That's gotta hurt. That actually had a sharp edge.
beautiful music. Kind of unfitting for the uh, situation at hand, though. Kairi gets her heart back, but Sora loses his. at last, princess. The keyhole is now complete. You have served your purpose, but now it's over. Do you think we can stop him all by ourselves? I don't know. Uh, impossible. No. Uh. You won't use me for this. Riku! You've got to run! The Harless are coming! Well, so Riku was possessed by Ansem for, like, a brief period of time, but... What about the keyhole? Most of his actions were of his own accord. <laughs> Guess what? That Sora's heartless. So now we literally play as Sora's heartless. And we can't really at actually no, it's not we can't really attack, we just can't attack. <laughs> this is crazy though, they programmed in this part just for this. It's pretty hilarious. Of course, this that scene creates so many plot holes in the overall like plot. We can't even save as a heartless. We gotta go back to the entrance hall. <laughs> I love the way these guys walk. It's like <laughs> That's the best sound effect I can come up with to describe the walk of the Shadow Heartless. Kyrie, hurry! I can't leave him behind! We can't stay here! A Heartless is after us! Oh no! One Heartless! What will they do? I'll take care of him! Hey guys, what's up? Let's be friends. Sora, is that you? Uh oh. Don't hit this Sora. I'll protect you. You're gonna need your own Keyblade for that, Kyrie. Or at least some karate skills. <laughs> 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 
Donald, just use... Or actually, I guess if you used Thunder, it would hit the us. And that's not really explained. Thank you. Beast, get out! Go now! Come with us! I told you before, I'm not leaving without Bell. Now go! The Heartless are coming. I feel bad for not using Beast more. Let's get out of here. But you know, those Trinities ain't gonna activate themselves. Kyrie, we have a spaceship. It's the coolest thing ever. It looks terrible, but it is amazing. <laughs> Tell me what happened. Oh yeah, then we're back in Traverse Town again. So the darkness is flowing out of that keyhole. No wonder there are more and more heartless everywhere. The only way to stop them is seal the keyhole, right? Maybe. Sora, no I like your keyblade. It's, it's very stylish. Well, we can't just stay here. We have to do something. I've got a friend back there. That's right. You have one more friend to worry about. Riku's keyblade <laughs> must have been born of the captive princess's hearts. Just like that keyhole you saw. Of course, without Kairi's heart, it remained incomplete. Once that Keyblade was destroyed, the princess's hearts should have been freed. Don't the worry, sounds Sora. so bored. If anyone can save your friend, you can. Aw, oh, thanks, Leon. That means a lot. Also, okay, good grief, I need to find those postcards. Hey, Aerith. I thought the keyhole would strengthen the darkness. I mean, the darkness is strong, but still, it's almost as if someone is holding the darkness back. Almost. By the way, we got new abilities. Vortex! Close the distance to nearby enemies with this powerful spinning attack. I want that! Uh, sorry, Ars Arcanum. Ragnarok! After aerial combo, select follow-up attack at the right time to unleash Ragnarok. For airborne targets, costs free MP. If it's anything like it is in Chain of Memories, it's gonna look so sweet. And Donald's got nothing new. Ooh, Goofy has 2 MP. Sweet. No treasure magnet for Goofy. I'll give him a second chance again. Hey, Yuffie. Not sure why, but the Heartless are getting stronger. New types of Heartless are popping up all over the place. If anything happens to us, I know we can count on you, Sora. Hey, Kairi, up? Even in your Heartless form, I knew it was you. You had a similar walk. I really like your Keyblade, Sora. It looks so awesome. I love the pink tint as well. Alright, we gotta find a save point. Oh, I know. Shortcut to first district. So now the Heartless in Traverse Town and all the other worlds are, well, much more powerful. As in, like, they're the Hollow Bastion Heartless. I like Vortex. It's... It's kind of like the sliding dash of the game. Alright, I hate these dark balls. Nah. I want to quit soon, so I don't really want to waste time summoning Bambi just for this. Nice going, Goofy. I love that tornado move he has. Okay, forget this. We're going back to the first district. At least there are no Heartless here. 
<sighs> Anyways, that's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Color Forty, and I hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day, and God bless.